And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, I'm Tom Vassell. Today we're taking a look at a little word game called Fletterfuse. It's kind of a weird name for a game, and the box shape is weird too. Look, it's a parallelogram! That doesn't really change anything about the game. Um, it says what you have in your hands is an electrifying and exhilarating word game. Okay, so I'm fusing words together to make different combos. All right, it's kind of an interesting style game. It's a word game like Scrabble, but a quick one. Here's how it plays. So in Flutterfuse, you have a big deck of cards here, and you're going to split it as evenly as you can between the different players in the game. And so on a player's turn, what they're going to do is they're going to take the top card from their deck and put it in the middle of the table. And each player is just going to follow through, putting these letters in the middle of the table. And as soon as you see a word that is five or more letters, you can shout it out. So banjo, see, B-A-N-G-O. And then I get these three cards and put them in front of me. They're pulled off. If multiple people shout out words at the same time and they do not uh, conflict with each other. So uh, let's see. Let's say someone here says uh, bent. And so I have B-E-N-T. So that's bent. Oh, that's only four letters. So anyhow, if multiple people say different things. I mean, look at all these things here. Someone's got to be able to work clutter. C-L-U-T-T-E-R. Now, I think I'm playing this part correctly because the rule book says, and let's pull up the rule book here, it says single, double, and triple letters all in, you do not have to use single, double, or triple letters all in one word. You can make words as you see them. That's very unclear. We weren't sure if that meant you needed to use E and T together or if you could just use the N from this card. If you had to use the TH together, I played it both ways the game works where you have to use TH together or where you can just use a T by itself. Either way, whenever you see a word, you'll take those cards out and put them in face down in front of you. Now, if you call out a word and there, it's not there, you'll get one of these You've Been Flettered cards, which are worth minus two points at the end of the game. And if there's a blank card up, that's wild. You can mix it with anything. I can say this is um, uh, ether, you know, and this is an E-T-H. Well, I guess I would have to find an E-R for that. But they're not worth any points, but they help you make longer words. And when a bomb card shows up, the first person to shout out any word that has that many letters, five or eight letters or whatever, gets that card, which is worth that many points at the end of the game. That's it. When all the cards have been gone through, you're simply going to add together all the cards that you have picked up, the point totals on them, minus two for each you've been flattered card, and whoever has the most points is the winner. Card quality for this game is very well done. The cards are really nice. This box being, you know, this kind of strange shape, that's fine. And I, but I like these. They're they're good quality, lead and finish, easy to see the letters on them. This is where the problem is. Flutter fuse rules, which do not give any kind of clarification on a lot of things. Can you use letters? Can you use a letter more than once? It just, for how short the game is, and when flipping cards, shouldn't you flip them away from yourself? That seems like a pretty obvious thing to say. Not in here. Also, what's up with these You've Been Fluttered cards? There is five of them. They're worth minus two, which is not that big of a deal considering this H here is worth three points. So if they're minus two points, people are going to be shouting out words all the time that aren't out there, so you take one. What happens after the fifth one's taken? The rules don't say. Do you take it from other players? Why is there only five of them? This seems like something that would be happening all the time. Why are they worth only minus two points? Why not minus ten? That would make people think more carefully before shouting out words. It just seems like a really weird thing that's in this game. Other than that, the game's fine uh, component-wise, and I don't even mind this weird-shaped box. <laughs> So the rules kind of ruin this in a sense. It's not a bad idea. I like the idea of flipping over cards and grabbing them. But when we were constantly asking rules questions and the little rules don't cover them, that's problematic. Ah, and that's very problematic considering how small this game is. They're going to be selling this game to people who are not gamers. We're gamers and we're like, ah, uh, what are we doing here? And if this doesn't tell me, that's problematic. So. Uh, Flutter Fuse is a game that I really wanted to like, I really wanted to enjoy it, but unfortunately 
it's again the idea of shouting out a word of the letters out there that's fun and there are other games that do it so it's not like it's even unique in that thing even the bomb cards are fun but after you realize you're in the deck before the game starts i'll go okay i got a five six seven and eight letter word all right great as soon as one shows up i'm shouting it out that's fine that's cool that works i like that the blank cards are wild but they're worth no points but those flutter cards you've been flattered first of all i don't even know what that means but secondly they're not negative enough to cause a problem when we run out of them, and then what do we do? Yeah, so it's a simple little word game that I did not dislike playing. I just wish I wouldn't have to look at the rules so much, and when I do, not get irritated because the rules weren't there. Dice Tower Judgment, a solid word game, just needs better rules.